Hello. This is a video on the truncated dodecahedron. In this Archimedean solid series, I'm showing how the 13 Archimedean solids can be derived from the five platonic solids. Here is a Prezi presentation, and across the top we have the five platonic solids. The tetrahedron, underneath it, the truncated tetrahedron. The cube, the truncated cube, which is Archimedean. The octahedron, the truncated octahedron. And the remaining two platonic solids are the dodecahedron, excuse me, the dodecahedron and the truncated dodecahedron, the icosahedron, which is platonic, and the truncated icosahedron, which is Archimedean. This is the Archimedean solid that we're interested in this video. Here is another view of the truncated dodecahedron. Now let's take a look and see how this Archimedean solid is derived. I am now at the Truncate, Expand, and Snubify website and let's scroll down to the dodecahedron. The dodecahedron is made of 12 pentagons. If we truncate this, we can do that with this slider. What it does is it cuts off each vertex. And in order to do a proper truncation to get an Archimedean solid, we must subdivide each edge into three equal parts. About like that. Notice that this was a pentagon and now it is a ten-sided polygon. Each polygon that makes up an Archimedean solid is a regular polyhedron. Now I have some questions for you. Here on the left we have the dodecahedron. The characteristics of the dodecahedron, vertex degree is 3, number of sides in each face is 5, number of faces is 12, number of edges is 30, and there are 20 corners or 20 vertices. The truncated dodecahedron is here on the right hand side. There are going to be two types of faces. There's going to be these ten-sided figures which come from the pentagons and then these triangles which come from the cutoff vertices. Pause the video now and answer these questions. I hope you enjoy learning many of the interesting properties of the Archimedean solids.